Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop, and today I'm going to do some maintenance on my uh, and repair my evaporative cooler. It's one of those porta cools. I've been using it without the uh, pump because every time you turn on the pump, it trips the breaker. So we're going to look at that today, and we'll clean out, uphold these. Uh, absorbent papers or whatever they call them out clean down there because there's some shady wiring i got this from my uncle he let me use it for the cause but uh it needs some probably probably end up rewiring the whole thing works good the fan works good got three speeds fan It does really move the air and it does it helps a lot but like this week it's been in the hundred and teens every day I'd like to get a little more out of it and you can just spray the back of it with a hose and get about half hour 45 minutes worth now I know what some of you are saying you can't run an evaporative cooler in a machine shop it'll rust everything it's case by case okay I live in Washington Southeast Washington and for those of you who aren't familiar with Washington, the whole state is not a lush, you know, green forested area. I live in a, a wasteland. It's a, technically a desert. It's very, very, very dry here. So the little bit of moisture this puts into the shop, and the sh this fan would be uh, too small to affect it really anyway. It's not going to hurt anything. I keep my machines very well oiled with a uh, prism. So I'm not worried one bit. It's not going to cause any rusting issues. It's cooling a big area in really dry air. So let me uh, get some tools. We'll take the front part off. And then, uh, yeah, I think Harbor Freight sells uh, just those normal swamp cooler motors. We'll see. We'll see what we find in there. I'll bring it back. Okay. So, most of these upper tabs have been broken, and they just put self-tapping screws in it. So I'll see if I can't remedy that. I'll put this all back together. Let's go here. Just that's enough so we can swing it out of the way. Now these things should just pull out. Okay. Take you down there. Hopefully there's no yellow jackets in you. Okay. Take these last two out. See what we have to work with in here. Okay, so there's the motor. Here's where the water comes in. Sorry about the glare. Here's the uh, distribution bar. There's some PVC with a bunch of holes drilled in it. It goes down. There's the wiring. Kneel down without melting my knees on the concrete. So, okay, this pumps it up. Now that's the hose. Sorry, that's the hose. There's a valve outside here. This is a gate valve that controls how much water goes through there. So obviously this pump has pooped out. It's just a 115 volt cooler pump. So, seems simple enough. There's the float, because you, you can hook this up to a hose full time, and uh, it'll top itself off. I may do that. 
Okay, let me go get uh, some pliers and stuff and we'll cut the uh, pump out of it. Okay, again, sorry about the glare. So I cut the zip ties holding the motor in. Well, that's our problem. The shaft is, the motor stuck solid. So it got wet in there or flooded or something. That's probably why it was tripping the breaker because it was fully locked. But following it up here, there's this junction outside of there and all these are loose. And then it goes into this menagerie where they spliced in a new cord. So I'm gonna redo all this much better than this. At least they put the grommets back in, I guess. And test the switch. So, tomorrow's plan. Oh, let me show you the other end of it, too. This is the other side of the cord. So, I think a new cord is in order. So, I don't know how, how some of this stuff gets damaged like that. Yeah, we'll pick up, we'll go to Harbor Freight tomorrow, or maybe Home Depot, see if they cover them, or got them, and we'll go from there. I'm going to clean up some of the scale off the motor while I'm in here. Now I'll clean all that up, too. So yeah, now we got a parts list, and a to-do list. So let's get this thing back up and going, because it is hot out. This thing will come in handy. Uh, this is Adam, Small Town Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.